hey guys welcome to civil engineer sada so today we are going to learn how to model a g plus 2 rcc building with a, a brick masonry wall and uh, the glass doors glass uh, windows so guys this is a model which is containing all the rcc all the elements structural elements are made up of uh, reinforced cement concrete uh, so the main base paper for this modeling is i'm just going to present the base paper here so guys this is my base paper so blasting response of a two-story rc building under different charge weight of tnt explosives so guys i need to create i have created a two-story rc building uh, the dimensions and all those things have been given in the paper i'm just trying to validate the results here under different charge weight of tnt explosives okay this tnt explosives we have to model this and um, based on that uh, blast what will be the response of the building will be calculated so guys uh, just uh, getting into the paper so just getting into the paper blast response of a two-story rc building under different charge weight of tnt explosives so let us see uh what was i will just uh tell you the brief of the models uh, that have been the, the entire modeling uh, procedure here yeah guys so uh description of the modeling okay description of the building and finite element modeling so guys you can see here that the building has 3.5 3.75 meter story height 3.75 meter as a story height and uh, the overall uh, dimension of the foundation is a uh, 12 into 12 meters into 8 meters and the foundation height is a 0.5 meters of foundation height okay the foundation height is 0.5 meters it has two and one base along the orthogonal side okay so we'll see in the modeling so this is the actual photograph of the model actual uh, model uh, actual uh, model on the side so we are going to we are trying to simulate this uh, failure of this building under blast loading here in this was in istanbul so let us see so this is a modeling part where you have all the dimensions here perfectly mentioned so i have considered all these dimensions i have modeled the entire thing in the space claim and one more thing is uh, uh, one more thing uh, to highlight you guys is uh, that the non-structural elements are bricks the walls are bricks and uh, also the model contains the model contains air and void and tnt okay uh, so this is a there's a tnt blah charge there in the column uh, in the model i'll just show you in the space claim we are, the building has uh, six columns it has six columns in the plan and four of which are sized 13 to 60 centimeter and two of which are sized 30 centimeter into 30 centimeter okay which all those things we can see here so guys you can see the modeling uh, which ha which the author has uh, done using ANSYS so the dimensions of rc columns so the exterior columns are the one uh, these are the exterior columns so this is the exterior column whereas uh, the interior columns the intermediate columns here this this entire column is having this cross section okay so the corner columns are having this uh, cross section and the beams uh, all the beams have a common uh, cross section and the reinforcement details so the beams are having this cross section okay so find uh, one more thing uh, just to uh, see is the dimensions of the beam entirely these things you can see in this uh, modeling here and one more thing uh, guys so the height of the reinforced concrete slab is assumed as 15 centimeter the height of the rcc slab is 15 centimeter 
and uh, uh, one more uh, important thing is the code that they are referring is a Turkish standard code fine so the modeling of the beam uh, is designed according to Turkish standard code and everything was done according to their standard and one more thing is uh, the uh, the model here has a window panels here you can see the window panels and uh, the doors on the both opposite sides of of the walls uh, so there the, the dimensions of those walls are here you can see that uh, the walls are designed with bricks of 20 centimeter thick thickness of uh, wall window panel is one centimeter and the second floor slab has an opening of 3.7 into 2 meters staircase well okay where it is in the second floor there's an opening of 3.7 into 2 meters so i will show you that in the modeling part here uh, so then uh, the material assumed is c25 yes 40 material assumed for the modeling so uh, the material properties of components used in modeling uh, such as concrete are given in table 4 so if you are uh, so one more thing is uh, the connection is uh, described as reinforcing bars so uh, now let us see this okay now let us see this uh, modeling part here so guys you can see here the material properties concrete is named as c25 reinforcing bar is named as 420 wall is a brick wall window is a float glass air and all those things density and uh, compressive strength and tensile strength has been mentioned here okay so fine uh, now what i am going to ask uh, just see the modeling here guys so you can see uh, you can see that uh, this, this is a tnt loading here this is a tnt charge okay that's in the ground uh, first floor itself and then you can see that there is a gap here okay that 3.7 meters as given here so so 3.7 into 2 meters is given here as a stairwell fine uh, guys now uh, one more thing what we can just see is uh, uh, the same thing they we have to model in the answers so i have done the modeling of the answers i'll just uh, show you guys so just guys just see this modeling so it's a very good modeling and it's a complex modeling because it will take uh, surely it will take time and uh, all of the reinforcement details have to be done correctly so you can see the modeling here so i have made it transparent so that uh, the inside portion is visible here so you can see that there is a uh, there's an opening here okay there's an opening here so that opening is a staircase opening and uh, one more thing i have uh, just made this solid here so you can see that there is a surcharge load also here that inside part where i have just there is a box there is a surcharge uh, tnt box over there okay tnt box is over there and now uh, the bricks are masonry and other everything so if you want me to uh, show you the reinforcement of the column so i'll just click on one part and i'll just say it as hide okay so uh, you can see the column the reinforcement of uh, column i'll just show you here So I think I uh, just I think uh, we have hided the column reinforcement. So now you can see that there is a reinforcement uh, here. Since the model, since the modeling was very not, uh, you can say that modeling is not complex, but it is a tedious process. So guys, I have uh, uh, made the reinforcement visible for you to just uh, showcase how the reinforcement details have been done here. So there's an RCC slab and all the beam reinforcements and the column reinforcements have been uh, modeled very carefully here because uh, you, you see that the building is a completely RCC building and uh, that's what needed here. 
so so just uh, if you want to see here so i can't um, uh, explain each and every component of uh, modeling i have not done the process of modeling here because it's a very time consuming process and you already know like how to start the modeling and everything from the base okay so if you need any uh, help from my side like whether you want to model such a model and uh, you are not getting some things or there's an error you can just contact me over the email which i usually give on the description side you can contact me and uh, then let me know any doubts and please do mention in the comment section and i will be doing the analysis of uh, this modeling uh very soon and uh guys please don't uh, forget to subscribe my channel because i put i request uh, you to like the video and uh, share it to your friends so that they will be aware of such things and uh, this kind of things are very rare in youtube channel so the analysis will be done uh, as soon as possible and uh, uh if you want the analysis and if you want to discuss with me regarding your project uh, i have uh, you can discuss me over the mail and uh, i will just get involved in your project if you are interested and we also do the project training for the students uh, to learn the answers from the scratch so that uh, it will be helpful for them to create a good project here so guys uh, meet you in my next video so till then take care have a good day